Here is a video tour of the hardware. My thesis project. Let's start with the motion base. Uh, it's a Sarnacola hexapad. It's a six degree of freedom. It's got six linear actuators all the way around it. Let's see the. It runs on 240 out of the wall. Um, I've got it uh, controlled with this computer right here. It's hooked up to a Motank data acquisition board in the computer. I have it programmed to control the yaw pitch and roll and also the X, Y, and Z motion of the base. I can also change the center of rotation for the motion base and once we've gone through all the different pieces of hardware I'll give a little demonstration how it all works. Next is the dish itself, and that is controlled with this computer over here. So it's a three degree freedom dish. It can pivot along the Z axis, which is the vertical axis. It has elevation control, and that's a stepper motor. It has the the azimuth control <coughs> is also with the stepper motor, and those stepper motors are driven with two gecko drives. The third degree of freedom is the what we call the skew motor. And that's um, just a, a servo with an optical encoder. See the laser. That's to see where the satellite dish is pointing. So it's got an array of sensors on it. Um, first. Yeah, I already mentioned the encoders on the skew motor. There's also the inertial measurement unit, which has three axis gyroscopes and three axis accelerometers to get the uh, rates of rotation and the gravity vector, or the you know the acceleration in, uh, vector in general. It also has three little photodiodes in there. And those are placed outside of the center, the focal point of the dish, so that you, we can measure the uh, intensity at uh, three different angles. And they are, and all this data is sent back to the control computer, as I mentioned before. mess of wires. <laughs> and the last piece of hardware is the LED system. And that is basically eight uh, Cree uh, MX6 LEDs on a board and that is controlled by this little board here that I put together and that is just um, um, a rectifier and a capacitor to turn the AC into DC so it's a hundred and 
70 volts approximately DC here and then this is a converter from uh, 120 AC to 12 volts DC I've got a 555 timer on it to drive this MOSFET which opens and closes the the current to the LEDs so that 555 timer oscillates at uh, 600 Hertz and uh, so it turns that those LEDs on and off at 600 Hertz so let me plug it in and turn it on now you can see the LEDs are on they're pretty bright 300 lumens a piece I think So now the idea is we get the dish to track using uh, those two different measurement methods, the IMU and the LEDs, or I'm sorry, not the LEDs, but the photodiodes in the, in the dish. I don't have the Coleman filter set up to use the photodiodes yet, but I'll do a simple demonstration with a... Uh, Coleman filter I put together last summer <coughs> that works pretty well but doesn't quite get the uh, job done so the first thing we gotta do is this is the controls for turning the motion base on and off Then, so we go to send it to the home position. See, and, all, and what that does, just goes up and down. So that, the home position is the center of its range of motion. That's all that does. And we put it on manual control and have it do some pitching and rolling. See the well, I need to adjust the place where the dish is pointing. The way you do that here is with this guy. So you can see it's, uh, I'm just pointing it at the light. The light's not actually doing anything for me right now. But you can see it's staying around the light, even though the motion base is pitching and rolling. Oh, and one thing I need to do to make it more accurate is have the base pitch and roll around the uh, the dish itself so that the dish is not moving side to side and then it gets a bit more precise So I'm coming up on 10 minutes, so I think that's about good. So 
So yeah, hope you enjoy this little presentation.